Welcome back to a brand new tutorial and now in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how you can reset your tycoon whenever the player leaves. Now if you've already done the save data portion of your tycoon then this is unnecessary for you as it will already work. However, I recently got a lot of comments on my videos talking about how this simply won't reset their tycoon because they don't want to make the save data function of their tycoon, which is perfectly fair. Not all people want to save their data. So I want to tell you guys how you can reset your tycoon without having to do the save data stuff. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is just go over to server script service and open up our leader stat script. And inside of our leader stat script, you just want to come down here. We want to say local tycoon owned is going to be equal to instance dot new object value and then tycoon owned dot name is going to be equal to tycoon owned and then tycoon owned dot parent is going to be equal to player just like this now what this is going to do is going to create a brand new object value named tycoon owned it's going to parent it to the player and what this is going to be is going to be the tycoon that the player owns and we're going to be setting this inside of our core script so that's all we need to do inside of this leader stat script let's go ahead and press the x button right here to close off the script and let's go into our tycoons folder our tycoon and then our scripts and our core script right here and we're just going to go down to our owner door function. My owner door function is right here and that's perfect. So you just want to come down here wherever is fine. I'm going to stick mine right in the middle right here. And we're going to say player colon find first child tycoon owned dot value is going to be equal to tycoon. And what this is going to do, this simple line of code is going to set the value that we just made to the tycoon whenever the player claims their tycoon and this is going to just make sure that we have the tycoon that the player owns and this is going to be useful for when we go to reset our tycoon later now let's close off our scripts our tycoon and our tycoons folder and even workspace for now because we're going to be going back to our leader stat script and we're just going to scroll down a little bit now underneath our player added function we're going to create a brand new function whenever a player removes or leaves the game we're going to say game.players.playerremoving connect function. And this will take player as a parameter. So we're going to say local tycoon is going to be equal to player find first child tycoon owned dot value. And this is going to find the tycoon the player has claimed whenever they leave the game. And we're going to say local new tycoon is going to be equal to game.server storage find first child tycoon dot name colon clone with parentheses just like this now what this is going to do is going to look in server storage for a copy of the tycoon that the player has claimed and when it does find that it's going to clone that tycoon and then we simply say new tycoon that parent will be equal to tycoon dot parent so this will parent it to the tycoons folder and then we're going to simply destroy our old tycoon just like this and this should be all that we need to do now to test this I'm simply going to disable my save data script for the moment let's go ahead and click on play and see what happens so joining our game let's go ahead claim our tycoon right here you can see I claim this tycoon let's start our dropper and everything so now we've got our tycoon started I'm gonna go click on this button which will swap over from the client to the server and you can still see my character down there and I'm just gonna go to this command bar I'm gonna say game dot players dot rusty silly band this is my character you will have to choose your character instead I'm gonna do colon kick with a capital K and then parentheses with the error message being test let's press enter you can see my player was kicked and the tycoon has reset. So now that you know that it works, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if this tutorial helped you, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.